Ralph. 2023, I predicted that Ethan Ralph will be dead. <laughs> Ethan Ralph is not dead. And there was some speculation that I saw, as if people think I don't see these things, but I do see these things. There was some speculation that I would uh, cope and sneed about this and instead say that actually the Ethan Ralph we did know has died. And instead, a new Ralph was born. I will not go so far. Ralph has done better in 2023 than I predicted. Uh, he did. He seems to have given up the bottle. I don't follow him closely enough at the moment to... I, I've heard that he fell asleep on stream again, uh, potentially due to, to intoxicants. Uh, however, I did not see the clip, and he says that he fell asleep, and it only happened once. So I don't know. Maybe it was just a sleepy boy going to sleep, because he does stream up for like 10 hours at a time. He threw up on himself? Really? There's lots of speculation about how he lost weight. Um, weight loss is is like if he was just drinking his calories and he's used to eating very little and then stopped drinking, 100% he could lose weight that way. Um, End-stage liver failure also causes rapid weight loss. Uh, if you're in Mexico, you have access to cheap pharmaceuticals like Ozempic, which would cost like $600 a month in the U.S., very cheap in Mexico. Um, so there's lots of different ways that he could have lost weight. Some, you know, some legitimate, some, um, damaging to the body, but we'll never know for sure. However, he did lose a lot of weight. Um, he does seem to be way more sober than before, uh, if not completely sober. Um, and he is now with a spicy Latinx, which actually would have been a much funnier prediction for 2024. Um, because if I remind me, because I forget, were, was Ralph and May separated at the beginning of 2023? I think it had happened. I think that my 2022 prediction for May was that she started the year unmarried and ended the year unmarried. So I think I was that was my my best prediction of all time. That was like an all star. So we entered into 2023 thinking Ralph was alone. He's living in Mexico. And he's like drinking worse than we've ever seen him before. And um, then, so I, I assume that he was just going to die. However, he's lost a lot of weight, as you can see. And he is no longer drinking as much. And he's found a replacement. Um, <laughs> so now, now I'm left wondering what to, what to think of Ralph. Um, I, I saw that he was in a position or had made a message that he was looking, uh, to make amends with Nick Fuentes's crowd, uh, which obviously I'm not a big fan on. And when it comes to Fuentes, I, I, I like, I'm not in a position where I want to make enemies all the time. So I, I really critically looked at America first and I thought, is there anything there to be supportive of? And I just can't shake the fucking, the pedophile shit. Cause the, the, the lollycons that are like all the groiper lollycons with snowflakes on their bios, retweeting lollycon, talking about how they want to fuck little kids and shit. Like it's, it's inundated his, his user base. And it's like, He's got like those those weird. He's got Zerka as like one of his top streamers, who's like an ex Mohammedan open pedophile. It's just like, oh man. So I, I can't I can't find any justification for tolerating Fuentes, but um, I don't know. Rick, Ralph wants to be friends with him again, I guess, for the benefits. But I would hope that he would not do that because that. I don't know. I, I just can't. I, I've tried to find good in Fuentes, and I just can't. Did Did Sargon say he likes Fuentes? That's embarrassing. Uh, Pantsu is just um, trying to find a stepdad right now. That's all she's up to. That's not May. That's a Mexican. <laughs> um... So for Ralph, Ralph is complicated. Ralph's hard to predict. Ralph's, Ralph is a is a unit of entropy that's not exactly easy to pin down. And like with entropy, if you try to observe him, uh, it, it will impact his behavior and become wrong.
Mexican. <laughs> um, Pensuela. <laughs> uh, you know what? There's an easy prediction. I'm predicting a little, a little Pablo Ralph in Mexico coming to a theater near you in 2024. Uh, lock me in. He's already it probably is already in the works. If we're going to be real about this, uh, I think that's the only way forward in this timeline. Uh, good luck with that, Ralph. By the way, uh, people's people's uh, merriment and tolerance for Ralph uh, is not accepted by some. There are some grumpy gusses, some negative Nancys out there who are not happy that the Ralph male is doing well, such as this individual you probably aren't familiar with. If it wants to load, it's trying its best. I promise you it's trying its best. Come on, you can do it. Oh, it's coming. I have to wonder why Sector tries to cut a Ralph. I, know, I don't know why they do it. I think it's just sad. Even Josh Moon's done this and you all saw it. Ralph's at his lowest, his wife's left him, his kids left him. Josh jumps on to fucking lick his wounds for him like a little pussy. I mean, the only reason why he was there is essentially because, I mean, the only, Josh literally runs a website laughing at Ralph, and then Ralph has to sit there and go, I don't like Kiwi phones being taken down now because I like Josh now. It's crazy. That is Cog. You would be able to see Cog's ugly British face, but unfortunately... Uh, the person who uploaded this chose a file format that does not work in Firefox, so you do not you are spared his visage. Cog has lamented people not talking about Ralph. Um, I don't know how much I I kind of want to touch on this just because I find it funny. Uh, you know, the, the, what what the reason why people talked about Ralph so much myself included I, I talked about ralph every week for months i i made a jingle for may very specifically may suffering and i someone animated my jingle of me singing about may suffering so that i could play it on stream because it was happening every week that something would come out and i could laugh at may suffering uh there there Kaig seems to not understand that people talk about people on the internet when it's funny and or entertaining. Hopefully both. Uh, he doesn't seem to understand that and seems to think that the reason people talk about certain things when they do little live streams like this is that they're trying to, to provoke a crusade. And it is possible to, to have a little bit of a crusade. You can put on your little crusader's hat and start burning tiki torches and have a good old time crusading. But there is a there is a, a limited amount of patience that people have for their attention being used to some purpose that is not immediately benefiting or gratiating to them. So if you want to do a little crusade, you have to be careful with how you respect people's time. Uh, Cog doesn't seem to understand that he's lost. This clip is from him explaining that he's lost a lot of his income from streaming because he's continued to talk about Ethan Ralph and people are tired of hearing about Ethan Ralph. And the reason why is because he's not doing the same things that he was when he was drunk every night, yelling at May every night, openly like backhand insulting her on Twitter every night. And he just, he just doesn't get it. And he's uh, he's salty that he seems because if you don't remember, Cog was the one who had his friend fly over to Portugal with him is to kick his ass for him. Um, that that's Cog, and I think that was sparked because Ralph said something really like nasty about his wife, and you would think that just going over to Portugal and having your friend kick kick your kick your enemy's ass for you is like gratifying enough that you can say, okay, well that's that. I'm gonna go back and do my life now. However, Cog is like still out for blood and he is still trying to like ruin Ethan Ralph and you can't do that. You can't ruin Ethan Ralph by making fun of him. Um, you have to, he, he would have to do it himself, obviously. Uh, so that's why he's just kind of like flailing and he seems upset and hurt that other people are not helping him try and murder Ethan Ralph. And it's like, nobody's, <laughs> that's not the point, buddy. 
Um, I don't know. I, I try not to think about Cog because he's a fucking loser, but uh, there you go. He is bitter. Yeah. I don't know. I, I just don't like be entertaining, bro. Your, your people will support you if you're entertaining and not just harping on Ralph when he's not doing anything. Sorry to say, buddy, your life peaked when your friend beat up Ethan Ralph and you recorded it. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.